My next guest is one of the UK's most successful internet stars. Recently, though, Nicola Chapman, who's one half of Pixie Woo. She's been making headlines herself, as well as reaching millions of online viewers for this emotional confession. My, my biological dad died from an illness called MS, and he never gave me anything in my whole life apart from MS. I did cry myself to bed to sleep every night for about two weeks, thinking, oh my God, what if my vision never comes back? What if this eye gets worse as well? Um, you know, all the things that go through your head. And just more thinking, I won't be able to walk my kids down the aisle. I won't be able to be there. I, mean, I don't know why I'm crying, because I don't even feel sorry for myself, because I live with it and I'm totally fine. But I think it's because it's such a big thing to actually tell everyone. Well, of course it is. Nicola's here right now. That was very emotional. How are you? How I'm are you really, doing? really well. You're really okay? good. Yeah, good. yeah. I, I live life to the max and I take it day by day. And I think that's all you can do when you exactly. have something like MS. When you shared that, mm -hmm. with, and you've got so many followers and so many people that log on, when you shared that, what was the reaction like? Um, far more people have it than I even knew. Yeah. It seems like MS is something that people are afraid of and they don't understand and they don't want to talk about it. And that's why I didn't really know anyone with MS apart from my dad, my biological dad, and one other friend that had never mentioned it to me, right. that they had it, but I'd heard through the grapevine mm. that they had it. And I just felt like, OK, I'm in a really good place now. I went through my bad times, I was very, very tired, and I started to get my energy back. And I can train. I go to the gym every day now. Right. I only do a little bit, sure. but I make sure I do it. Um, and I just felt the time was right. I'm in a really good place. I feel great. I'm going to tell the world because I want people to talk about mm. it. I want people to understand what MS is so that when I say, oh, I have MS, people don't just step back. For sure. And they're like, oh, well, are you all right? Mm. And they, it's like they think it's catching. And I just want to oh. say, right. it's not catching. No, not it's just all. something that we live with and we deal with. And everyone has different strains of it. And it's learning to manage your body with it. And also, there's an awful lot more that can be done now than there was 10, 20, 30 years ago. They're making strides all the time, aren't they? Far more, far more. There's, and I think one of the main things that I've noticed a difference with is diet. I've right. completely, as soon as I found out, obviously I was so upset and I cried a lot and then I was like, this is not me. I've never been this person. I have two small children. I need to be there for them. We looked into diet. We found out what was good for me. Mm. A lot of greens I eat really, really healthy. If I don't know something that's on the back of a package, I don't eat it. Right. I don't eat any processed food okay. at all. I just changed my life. So... I know what I'm putting into it's my body. It's also giving yourself all the opportunities that you can, isn't it? Definitely. And it's quite good to take some, you know, take it back. To you know, take it. the responsibility, if you yeah. like. Yeah. I didn't want MS to define me. No, I understand I wanted that. to be someone that lived with MS. You know, and I know everyone has different strains of it and everyone reacts differently, mm -hmm. but I understand my body. I know when my vision... My first attack, I went blind in this eye, but it came back. Right. Only 90%, mm. but it's still there. And okay. I, when my vision goes a little bit more blurred, I know I need to rest. OK. And I listen to my body, and yep. I think that's one of the main things of doing is making sure you understand your body and the mm. signals it's giving you. And if... You know, I do train every day, but if I have a day when I think I literally can't get out of bed, I won't. Then don't. But exactly. if I just think... I can't be bothered. <laughs> right, yeah, I do different. it. Right. It's very but, like different. you know your body and you're getting to know your body. And I think that's so important. You said you've got two small kids. Yeah. And you've made the decision not to have any more children, I believe. Yeah. Well, yeah. MS, I won't say it comes from having children, but the stress that it puts on your body can trigger mm. an attack. And you had a bad labour, didn't you? Yeah, I had a 55 hour labour with my son. And then um, with my daughter, I was so stressed about going through it again. I think that caused another attack. Right. Um, so my husband and myself just said, it's not worth it. We're mm. very blessed. We have one of each. Of course. I don't need to have, I don't mm. feel the need to have any more. Mm. I just want to give these two everything I possibly can. Yeah, yeah. And it's to make sure that you're, you're around for as long as you possibly exactly, can be. Exactly, exactly. And in my mind, I don't have MS. Right. You know, I live my life to the full. Sure. I just make sure that if I have a little trigger, OK, I need to rest. I'm very, very lucky that my family are extremely supportive mm. and they understand it. They probably understand more about it than I do, if I'm honest. Right. But it's just, as you say, it's just um, a day at a time. Definitely. And, and getting on with and it. And I like I say, we're, you're in a lot better position now than maybe you would be healthier. even ten years ago. I feel healthier. Good. And that's the thing with MS. And, and for anyone that may be getting, wondering if they might have it or getting diagnosed, it's not the end of the world. You have to carry on because tomorrow 
might be something else. Sure. You just have to live for today. Great attitude. Love that attitude. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for coming Thanks in. For and I'll see you me. real soon. And you. I love your blogs and your uh, thank fabulous. You. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.